This is a command that I like to teach. I highly recommend it. And it's called the center command. All we're going to do is we're gonna take food. I like to have food in both hands. And we're gonna guide our dog around our body and in between both of our legs. So when I'm doing this, I have the food in both hands and I'm using my right hand to guide my dog around. Then I transfer my dog's nose to my left hand. So I'm not giving the dog any food that's in my right hand. I'm gonna give the food that's in my left hand. So I guide the dog around. I transfer them to my left hand once they're in position yes reward then at that point I can start rewarding with both hands but as I'm teaching the dog how to get in that position I'm not really feeding them any food or I'm not feeding them any food from my right hand just when they get into position I start to reward them I reward on my left and then I will reward them with my right and then what I'm gonna also do this is going to help us with our focused heel so it gets our dog comfortable again looking up and walking forward. So I, I do love this command as far as helping with our focused heel, but it is also a really fun, playful command that everybody loves it. The dogs have fun with it, and I also use it for playing fetch and things like that. I might tell the dog center, they get in position, and then I throw the ball. So anyways, we're going to walk with our dog in that position, and we're going to reward them for looking up and maintaining it. And this is an easy way to teach our dogs how to pivot in position because we have our legs on the left and right side of the dog. So we're able to pivot to our left, we can pivot to our right, we can walk backwards, and by keeping them in the center position, this is going to help when we transfer this over into the heel position. This is a great way to do this. It's a great command to teach your dog. And it's something that I highly recommend. Once you can get the physical cue, just like everything else, go ahead and name that command. I like to call it center. So I say center. Then I cue my dog into position. Yes, reward. And I'm going to start pivoting around and getting my dog to understand it. And you can do this with puppies as well. Here, let me show you how to train this exercise. Okay, so we want to teach our dog the center command. The center command is, it's a fun exercise. So if you have a pet and you just want, you know, that basic obedience, it's fun to do. If you're using this for competitive obedience, this is gonna help keep your dog's head up and it's also gonna help with their back end to pivot around. So what we wanna do is we wanna put food in both our hands. I'm not going to give my dog the food that's in my right hand. I'm going to give him the food that is in my left hand. But I'm gonna use that to guide him around, transfer him over to my left. Yes, reward. Yes, reward. Good boy. So that's gonna be the center position. Now. When we feel like we can get our dog, yes, to go there pretty easily using our luring, our food, then we can go ahead and we can name it, okay? So we want to have our dog in front of us. We want to say center, and then we want to cue our dog into that center position. Yes, good. And then what I like to do, I like to walk with my dog in that center position, walking around, trying not to drop food, getting him to pivot around, and getting him used to being in that position. But you see how it makes it easy with my legs to teach him how to pivot around. It helps him with his body, his movement, that those basic mechanics. Break. All right, so let's do that again. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So again, center. Guide him using the food in my right, but he's not getting it. Then he gets the food in the left. And then we can go ahead and we can walk around, even a young puppy like Derby here. Just make sure you have plenty of rewards. Good boy. Good job. Very nice, buddy. Very nice, that's a good boy. And I like to do all kinds of things. Spin around in one position. I can walk forward and if I am doing this for competitive obedience, I really want to work on keeping my dog's head up. So keeping their head up, keeping them used to walking, looking up. Come on, bud. You're going to drop food every now and then. It happens. Good boy. That way, that's going to transfer into that focus heel with your dog keeping their head up nice and high. So again, center. Then the cue, guide him around, good boy. Get him walking, get him looking upwards, and get him used to moving and pivoting in one spot. All done. And if you do it correctly, you'll be able to say the command center and your dog will run right into that center position. Ari's more of an advanced dog, but I want you to see what it's gonna start to look like as your dog starts to understand the center command. 
Center. All right, so you see how she walks under and she looks directly up at me. Walk. Now I tell her walk when I want her to move in the center command, but you don't have to do that. It's whatever you want. But again, I'm walking and I'm getting her used to walking and looking up. Good girl. Very nice. Same thing. I can now pivot around. And if I go down, then she should go down. Come back up. Walk. Good girl. Again, maintaining that position, maintaining that eye contact, looking up at me. Good. That's my good girl. And then we can get her to do a little bit of revere. Oh, that's a good girl. Walk. Sit. Down. Free. Good. All right. So that's going to be an exercise I want you guys to practice. Even if you're doing basic obedience, this is still going to add a lot of value to your training. Center. Good. Nice job, bud. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Center. Very nice, buddy. Boy. Good. All done. All done.